Alright, so we're back with the only game where you can break into a woman's house, beat her with a crowbar, hide inside of her wardrobe, and the police have no idea how to find you. It's Thief Simulator. So we've been making stacks, which is good, because there's a lot of stuff that we have to buy. Over to the computer. I think that we've sold everything that we need to sell. There's micro cameras and stuff too. Hacking PDA? What? What is this for? Electronics level 2? Night vision goggles. This is pretty cool, a car key signal cloner. So eventually we do steal cars. That's freaking awesome. I can't wait to do that. Over to rent -a thug We've accepted quite a few things. Uh, smashing this lady's window, car window out, screw that. I'll, we'll figure that out later. Still have to steal a TV, gotta break some more toilets. Break their wine glasses, yes please. Wine glasses have been looking at Beeswrog for years. I can't wait to blast those. You know, I feel like, I feel, it, it almost seems like the lower the numbers of the houses, the better the house is. Because remember when we were over at like 1.9 and 110 and stuff like that, it was all like little trailers, there was no kind of, there was no uh, uh, defenses, defenses, security. <laughs> it sound like there's like turrets in there or something. The Wilsons, tenant routine. routine. There's no one home between 8 and 11, perfect. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. It's the perfect time to steal loot. Oh. Still a TV just sitting in the back seat. Guess I should go sell that. I know you guys mentioned stuff like this to me. I forget about this stuff all the time. Ah, oh, just a random TV sitting in a car. The only reason I noticed is because the... <laughs> the only reason I noticed is because the car was filled with blue, which typically means that something is in there. There you go, buddy. What do you think, Olaf? You like the... Yes, $120. That's what I like to see. You have a good one. I'll be back tonight with more of my ex-girlfriend's stuff. I'm still moving her out of the house. Greenview has to be setting up like a neighborhood watch or something. Where is this guy going? I thought I was a bad driver. I, think, I guess they have more to worry about than just me. Bunch of DUIs or something going around here. I was gonna say, with all the burglaries and all the beating people with crowbars and stuff like that, these people have got to be starting to band together, trying to stop this from happening. All right, 107. This has got to be it right over here. Looks like we've got a nice open area all right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. We should have plenty of space so that our car doesn't block people in. It looks that way. Now we just have to find a weakness that we can exploit in order to get inside. I've got level two agility. You'd think I'd be able to climb over this friggin' fence, but I guess not. Oh, fence is open? Ah, look at this. That's what we need, a climbable fence. See, that's all it takes. It's just a couple of poorly positioned chunklets of fencing that allows us to get inside. Now, supposedly all we have to do is just go over here and smash some, some wine glasses, but that's, we're going inside this house. We need to find out what sort of delicious loot they have. Crowbars out, boys. It's party time. Ugh. Ooh, this wine could be worth something. I don't know for sure, but we'll find out. There's always a radio. Now the radios are always some decent loot as well. Let's go around to the side of the house over here. Oh, Wilson's. Oh, we need a mini electric lock pick. We don't have that yet. I should have bought it. I think it's like, it's probably pretty expensive. It's probably like 1500 or something like that. Oh, there's a garden gnome. That's adorable. Can you steal it? You cannot. All right, there's a lot of people creeping around in front. I kind of wanted to see if the front door is open. If not, we'll try and smash a window out. We don't have a lot of time. I got to get this crap done. All right, everyone's gone. Yeah, everyone's gone. Let's go up here. Oh, crap. Really? We're going in. Oh god, uh, oh, nope, that's not gonna do it. We're going upstairs! Come on, this has to be some place to hide. Ah, he's right there! <laughs> oh, I never got to see these guys face to face! What's with the sunglasses? All right, I learned something super important just now. In one of our previous lives, when we were a failed thief, it appears like you can smash out these windows, and uh, it, they don't have a home security system. Let's go over here, smash this, open this, Climb on in, and we are in. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now all the loot is ours. Oh, your router's coming with me. The Grace Still Plays Retirement Fund would like to thank you for the thoughtful donation of, what is that? You see it? It glowed for just a second. Is that like one of the Nokis or something? Oh, it's an er Eric son or something. Oh, another radio. How come everyone's radio looks like it's from 1994? Ah, this looks important. Oh. A USB flash drive. That could have important things on it. We would use it for, uh, which we'll call it blackmail. What is this? Another router? Okay. Doubling up on the routers, huh? Oh, look at the stacks. There's stacks everywhere. Ooh. Oh, I thought they were home. That's just someone meandering out front. What in the hell? 
Are you serious? Crap. All right, whatever. We got a bunch of loot. Let's get the hell out of here. Going into a very, very common place for me. Inside of the dumpster. Because the police are like right here. Right now. <laughs> Leave me alone. You don't know, but these tenants have all kinds of illegal helicopter porn on their flash drive. They always do this. They come right up to you and they're like, how could, how could he have vanished? What is this guy? Freaking David Blaine or something? That's right, cops. It's just another day that you can lament about the time where you almost caught Sparky McNutbag or McBallbag. That's my name. I can't believe it. Friggin' tenants leave their entire life savings on the counter and that's what does me in. Cause some random power walking lady is freaking trying to get her cardio on on the sidewalk. All right, I think we're clear. I don't hear any sirens anymore. It still has a star, but it's a bunch of lies. Let's peel on it. Oh, that cop is still there. That cop is still there. That cop is right on me. Like he is following me hardcore. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside the car. Get inside the car, get inside the car. Turn the car on, turn the car on, turn the car on. Go, go, go. I hate you. Oh my God, there was $150 on this thing. We're doing this again. I w really? We're doing this again. I want all this cash. Mother of God. It is just stacked with loot in here. I want this bottle of, of yellow mustard as well. What brand is this? Hold on, does it say? It's organic. Oh, it's a nice microwave. Inventory's full though. Look at this printer. We're taking this printer. I don't know how good it is, but can I open this up? No, we're gonna have to go back through the window with this thing. Loop. Just right outside the window. I'm trying to watch my radar over here just to see that no one's doing anything. All right, toss that over, climb on over. Looks like we're clear for the most part. I have my flashlight on. All right, grab the printer. Now this is big, so this is gonna take a while for us to get on over here, but it shouldn't look too too unusual, all right? I'm just, I'm bringing my printer over to, to Best Buy. I'm trying to, they're not really gonna fix it, but I'm getting my printer over to Best Buy. It's gonna be fine. They're gonna charge me like $180, probably more than the printer's worth. I'm gonna be very unhappy with the service. Very, very typical thing. Everyone should know what this is like. All these people should know what this is like. All right, now bring this over to the car. Like it's no big deal. Crap, there's legitimately people everywhere and they are all over me. I'm gonna drop this because maybe they won't see it. Like if it's like this. Okay, now grab it. Doing something shady. Nope. Everything's fine, going to Best Buy. <laughs> yes! There we go. That's the type of thievery we should expect. That's the stacks of cash. Oh, we're going home all right. I'm hoping we got some decent load, uh, like XP from that. I felt like we were pretty stealthy. Mmm. S explanation point. Holy crap, that printer was worth 60 XP. That must have been like one of the high-end printers. Even the wine was pretty good. Hey. All right, let's go over to, uh, to Blacklist or whatever, Black Bay over here, and see what we can get with our newfound items. Look at that. A router. 80 bucks. I love these things because you get double duty. We were just in here. Break a window on the second floor. We already know this place, so let's, yeah, let's do it again. Break your toilet? Yeah, we're gonna mess this entire place up. We do have the electronic lock ability, so let's buy it so that we have it from now on. 1,200 bucks. It's worth it. We'll find out what's in, what, what's inside. Well, we can get through doors and stuff now with it, but I think that there was a safe or something that we could use this thing on. Let's go over to the pawn shop. Hey, Hugo, how's it going? Yeah, the girlfriend didn't want the printer anymore, so I thought she she said, oh yeah, great, just bring it Welcome on over back. to the pawn shop. There you go, buddy. $400 for that printer. That seems really good. Like, I really don't think that I would get that at a pawn shop unless that is a, f can I go back here? Do you mind if I just kind of see what you have for sale? You got a chainsaw back there, an air compressor. Wait a minute, isn't that an actual brand? of propane, like with their actual logo. <laughs> Can they do that? I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna tell anyone if they won't, but that's, I don't know, it just seems a little, little weird. Bad guys sleep all day, you know how it goes. Plus they're out of the house from like eight until 11 or something, I remember. So we should be able to get in, steal all the stuff, get out, especially with our brand new electronic, to our brand new electronic lock pick. Ah, Greenview, this place is putting my kids through college. I feel really bad. Because again, we, we took like like $750 off the table. Like we basically stole some other kid's college fund so that our kid's college fund could work. All right, right over here. You need to stop the car first to exit, says who? All right, now it doesn't look like there's very many people out today. There's a person down there, but I think we'll be able to get over this without any issues. Bam, got it. Okay, so now 
we can use our newfound electronic lockpick tools to see if we can get in the back door. Every thief loves to go in the back door. How the hell do you use this thing? What? I... Did it work? Yep. Sure did. All right. Just let myself in over here. Now, there's a couple things that we have to do. What do we have to do? Like smash their toilet, smash their, their, their vase and some other things. Break the toilet. Break the window on the second floor. Got it. And while we're here, we might as well steal a bunch of stuff. We haven't been upstairs yet, so let's go ahead and very creepily move our way upstairs. Yes. Oh, I'm going to take your artwork. I'm going to take this piece of artwork, too. Oh, it's really big. I know, I know. That's what she said. But for real, like, it takes up a lot of space. Like, I'm not even sure it's worth it. We'll check it out just to see if it if we get, a, like, any cash for it, but it doesn't seem worth it. All right. Your toilet has been very naughty, and as such... It has to freaking pay! Do, 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 do. Another router. Take all these routers. Ooh! A nook or, or a, a, a nook or whatever it's called. Now this is big. Like it's a lot of weight. So I don't know if I'm gonna take that quite yet. Let me just see if there's anything else of value around here that we're gonna want. Look at this. Random TV inside of the closet. Why? Nobody knows. Ooh! The U phone. That's always worth big money. Baptism? I think that's a real painting. All right, that's just an alarm clock. No one cares about that. Oh, a mouse. Huh. I mean, sure. We'll go ahead and take that real quick. Can I grab this painting? Oh, it's a huge painting. Oh, crap. How about the guitar? Okay, we can grab the guitar and we can probably grab this TV. But first, we have to smash out a window. Whack. I'm going to take this painting instead. We've stolen TVs. I want something different. This painting should do. All right, now we're going to move real smooth, real slow. I don't want to be seen. No way. Oh, piss. This is so bad. Is she home? Oh, I guess not. Okay. No! No! Seen by a tenant, we gotta go! It's her! It's her! I should have known! Get out of the way, lady! Alright, we are not getting seen with all this loot. I really hope that they don't give her her painting back. Because the painting is just sitting right outside of the dumpster right now. Watch. This cop's gonna come up and he's gonna be like, Is that the baptism? So odd to just find this in a random alleyway. Couldn't be a piece of evidence or anything. See, there he is. He's like, oh, the baptism. Oh, it's a fine, fine painting. All right, well, I guess I'll just continue going this way. All right. Well, that was, they totally left it there. Oh my God. Well, that worked out well. I'm just gonna follow this lady. She has no idea what's going on. This probably looks a little bit shady, but it should be no big deal. Don't worry, ma'am. Returning my, my painting. It's got smudges on it. You keep walking. Scumbag. Yeah. Don't you look at me. You look at the ground when you walk away. Good. And we are about to be in the clear with stacks of cash. I'm assuming the stealth bonus is pretty... Oh, it wasn't that bad at all. How? I guess it's just because we stole so much stuff. 50, 50 XP for the Yamaha... The, the Yomaha. I'm sorry, guitar. Ooh. 25% more backpack space. We can start appraising things. Actually, we should probably... Hmm. We're doing this. Open safe, use glass knife. Absolutely. It takes two points, but it's going to be two points well spent. We'll probably have to buy those. All right, before we go visit Hugo, we're going to have to see if anyone wants the guitar or anything that we just stole over to Black Bay. All right, we got some artwork. Uh, No one cares... Look at this. Candle holders for 240 and 280. We're going to have to watch for those. All right. No one wants a U phone or anything. So it looks like Hugo's going to get it. Now, I think that this was like one of the fancier houses over here. There's a bunch of stuff that we need to do at their house. I'm going to select both of these and we'll try and use our brand new items to get in. Oh, it's super expensive. Save cracking tools is 2,500 and the glass knife is 2,500. We'll be able to buy one of them. Maybe the safe cracking tools because we can usually smash a window out. And by now we have so many ways to get through the doors and stuff over to the pawn shop. Hey, Hugo. Do you like the baptism? It's got some grass stains on it, but it's still pretty good. Check that out. What kind of money you get for that? Oh. That's really, really underwhelming. That was a terrible haul. I expected to make more money than that. All right. No one home between 12 and 2. We got two hours to do this. That is not much. All right, 108. Gray's coming to relieve you of some of your artistic assets. Actually, I think both the things that we're stealing are art. Isn't one like a, like a piece of pottery or something, and then there's like a painting, painting named China or something? All right, so 108 is actually right next to 107. We're going to off-road a little bit with this car. There we go. 
perfect. All right, looks like looks like there's a gap in the fence here. Give it the old beady. Put our put our our beater away, and now we're deep inside. Oh, I must have found the routine of someone else because it sounds like there's someone in here. It's probably the Millers that I bought. That's all right. There's still some things we could saucepan. Okay, taking your tea box, your radio, your wine, your other wine. I imagine if we smash this window open, he's gonna hear it. It doesn't mean we can't. We don't have to try. Okay. Yep. He heard it. Okay, now we're kind of in a car chase. Urgh! The police are right on our tail. Come on, baby. Out of the way. Oh, God, they're right behind us. They're right behind us. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you beautiful beast. Oh, I'm going off road. I didn't mean to go this way. Oh, maybe the police can't follow us. We did it. We did it. <laughs> yes. Well, I went ahead and screwed that outing up. Yeah, D rating. That was still passing. I decided we're gonna do some stuff over here at 108. We're not having a lot of luck over at the other place. I don't know what the tenant routine is like over here. This is a big house. Look at this, all the blinds are down. That's interesting, you can't even get in to see anything. We're gonna have to think about this another way. Maybe we'll have to go in through the front door. All right, there's no one out front right now. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Over here, grab this. Now we do have an electric locker, or lock picker. There we go. Perfect, ooh. Golden Goblet, Tear Trophy, U-Phone. Now we're gonna get paid. Today's a payday, boys. Oh, another damaged U-Phone? What is this? It's incredible. This is the best place there ever was. We're just pulling stacks out. It's crazy. Oh, they're both asleep in their friggin' beds. Oh my God. They are both out like lights. Oh, we're kind of moving around a little bit. I don't want to mess with them. Upstairs we go. It's no big deal. All right. We need that. That's took. Now we... There's a dude right there. All right. We're full up on loot. It's time to get out of here. Front door should still be open. Like, it's no big deal. There's no one outside. We're just gonna open the door. Okay. Stand up. And get the hell out of here! And that's money right there, baby! I don't know if we fulfilled the criteria, but that was a good theft. That's gonna be big XP. For Sparky McBall bag. I'm gonna tell you right now. Wait until you see this. Wait until you see this XP. That's gonna be a level. Oh, and we're gonna put it in extra inventory space. Oh, yes. Yes. Big money, too. I've got priceless works of art for sale. No one cares about any of this stuff. Oh, there's other guitars. There's a Washman and a Taylor. But no one cares about those ones. All right, I guess we're gonna have to go over to the, uh, to the pawn shop and sell this stuff. All right. It's worth a couple of bucks. We still need a few hundred more though. Let's hit a different house. Let's hit the Powell's. They don't have a mission or anything. There's a printer worth a lot in the living room. All right. We don't usually go on this side of town. Now this house is like all the way by itself at the edge. If you notice of uh, of green briar or whatever, green, green view, green sadness. All right, park right over here, close the door. How's it looking? There's someone inside for sure. Oh, right over here, easy to clean. Ah, we have a lot of hints for this. We can actually wait until everyone's gone. All right, they're out from nine to two. And there's a parking area right over here. You can actually sleep in your car like a bum. So let's do it. By the way, there's a third person view that I never use. Boom, close the door, nice and slow. Over to 113. Anyone looking? No? Good. I don't think we've ever climbed that fence before. I don't think we've ever had the agility to do it. I'm gonna take this radio for now. I'm not really sure if it's worth anything or not. Oh, this is the beer place. That's right. Open window. Sweet. Now, supposedly, there's a printer in here that I haven't stolen yet. There's a guitar, too. Does this stuff reset every time? Skyrim powers. Activate. All right. We're inside. I'm taking this router. I'm taking all your, your freaking pocket change, too. There's the printer. All right. We're gonna grab the printer now. I'm just gonna get it set so that when the time comes, we can throw it out and and make out, you know, get, make off with this printer right here. Let's go ahead. Bloop. There we go. Oh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right, I'm deep in the living. I don't know if this is smart or Oh. We're taking that. Electronics are always good for resale. Hello there, little Timmy. Why do you have like a really good chair? Like this just seems like a really odd chair for a little child to have inside of their room. He's got a hard drive? He's got two hard drives just laying there? What are you doing with all these hard drives, kid? Not sure I wanna know. Can I grab this router? Sure can. We hit these guys so hard. Can I even, can I even carry anything else? 
I don't even think I can. Maybe if it's something really small. Let me see if I can find like one. Oh, there's extra money. Grab that. I can carry that. Ah, how about this? There we go. Okay, we're full up on loot now. Skedaddle out the freaking thing over here. Oh, oh, nope, not doing anything. No big deal. Just, uh, that was in the way. I was trying to move it. So no one dripped on it. See? The people in this neighborhood are so good. This lady didn't even try and take this printer. What a kind soul. All right, there's a whole slew of people right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this now. We're going to drive up to it, and then we'll load it in and get out of here. All right, third person view. Drive right up like this. Get out. This up. Throw it in the back. Close the door. I hope we can get a bigger car eventually. I want like an SUV or a van or something. And that is that. That's how you do it. Daddy needs a new pair of... Uh, what are we trying to get? The glass? I think it's the glass thing and then like the hacking tool. Oh, the sa the set the, the safe cracking tools. Woo! Yay! Very good. More inventory space. Oh, I'm so happy to have that. Oh, this dude wants three hard drives and he's paying 360 for it. So if we stash these, we'll be able to make a ton of money. I think we have a stash over here somewhere. There's like a locker or something. Wouldn't that be sad if someone stole from us? Like if they took my stuff that I stole. Hey, Hugo, got another printer for you. Yeah, the girlfriend used to, she worked at Best Buy. So they gave, she took a lot of stuff Welcome home with her. Back. I'm not going to ask how she got it all. Hey, well, how much are you paying for their, oh, $270? Yes, please. 140 for the receiver. Mm. All right, it's time to become a legit thief. Ready? Safe cracking tools. Go. There's a house that we've never been to. It's house 101. I just want to know what the deal is with it. Got a gate. There's a lot to this house. It's a big house. A couple of places to hide, too. Hmm. These guys have a security cameras? <gasps> oh my god! It's like an undercover cop! This dude had- this guy has a gun for us! I just wanted to see what the inside of the house was like, but it's like we just tried to rob a drug dealer or something, or like an undercover cop! Okay, this house is my new project. We need to find out what the secrets are inside of this house. Because th there's a camera system, and this dude comes to the front door with a gun and says, Freeze! All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Thief Simulator. What is going on with this neighborhood? We've got some shady houses on my street. Nothing quite like this, though. You guys have any shady houses on your street? You got to let me know in the comments section below what's going on over there. Till the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.